Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is a Dollar Tree picture frame makeover as promised. If you saw last week's Dollar Tree haul, you saw that I hauled these really, really cool frames. And this week I turned them into little chalkboard picture frames. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got really awesome lettering on there without using stencils, without using a cry cut. It is not a method that I came up with, but it is definitely the easiest method to get lettering onto a chalkboard if you're having a wedding and want those really, really pretty signs. Definitely the easiest way. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. We just become best friends. Yep. And please go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm going to be using two of these Dollar Tree frames, and even though they are Father's Day themed, Dollar Tree still has some that aren't Father's Day themed and they're still in stores. So I'm going to take these apart, and the best thing about them is that they're totally different from most of the frames that Dollar Tree carries, and it's really sturdy, the back is really nice, you can see how it has the little swivel back, it's amazing. So I'm going to save the inside, and I'm going to paint these. Now for this, I'm going to be using some chalkboard spray paint, but you can also use regular paint. And if you'd like, you can scuff up your frame before, but these frames are kind of porous, so I didn't feel the need to. Now you want to make sure that you are giving this a very even coat and letting it dry completely before giving it its second and third coat. I did a total of three coats to cover all of the lettering and all of the texture. And as you can see here, everything is disappearing. Once it is nice and dry, what I'm gonna do is grab some chalk. Now I'm using sidewalk chalk, you can use regular chalk, and you just wanna lightly go over the entire thing so that when you do paint on this, you can erase it with no problem without it staying behind. And you should do this to all chalkboards, even brand new ones. You're kind of seasoning it. So after doing that, you want to wipe it down. Now I like my chalkboards to look pretty chalky so that you know it's chalkboard. So I'm not going to wipe all of it down, just a bit. So now I'm going to use this Bistro chalk marker. You can also use paint. And for this one, I'm going to freehand, but I will show you in a bit just how I got perfect lettering without using a stencil. So. I am going to just freehand this and to make little circles I use this masking tape, made two half circles on the side, and then drew little petals for details. This is just an idea, you can do whatever you want with yours. So these markers do erase but they do sell chalk markers that don't so make sure you look for that. For the next frame, I'm going to be using this image, which I printed off of Google. You can also do something on Word with the font that you'd like, and just make sure that it is the size that you want. So I'm going to cut it down so that it fits nicely on my frame. And since this is being used for personal use and it is not being sold, it really doesn't matter where you get your image, but if you are planning on selling it, make sure that you are using legal images. So now I'm going to grab my sidewalk chalk and on the back side of this paper, I'm going to cover the entire thing. If your paper is thin and you can see what you're covering, all you have to do is trace over the letters. But since I can't see, I'm covering the entire piece of paper. So now that everything is coated, I'm going to place it where I want the image without moving it around too much. And then I'm gonna add some tape. I'm just using regular painter's tape. Any tape will do. So I'm adding some tape so that it doesn't move around. And now with a regular pen, you can also use a mechanical pencil, whatever you want. You're just going to trace over every detail of your image. Now, super, super small details are gonna be a little difficult because chalk markers, even the thin ones, are really thick, but you can always freehand certain things. And if you're not comfortable with freehanding, you can of course leave some things out or replace some images with larger ones. So now that it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my tape. And it looks like a mess, but what I do is I take my fingertips and I remove some of the excess chalk that was left on the paper behind. And once all that chalk is removed, you can clearly see the image. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Bistro Chalk marker and trace over that. Now I'm gonna start backwards so that my hands don't erase the chalk that's at the bottom. And take your time with this because erasing and starting over is such a pain. If you want something that's completely permanent, you're going to wanna use the chalk markers that are permanent, of course, or a really, really thin brush and paint. There are so many options for this project. You can also experiment with different color chalks, acrylic paints, and this is the perfect way of getting really nice lettering without having to splurge on a vinyl cutting machine like a cry cut or a silhouette. This comes in so, so handy. Now that I'm done tracing, you can see that it looks identical to the original image. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit more chalk to the side so that it looks more like a chalkboard. And now all that's left is to add your favorite picture, assemble the frame, and bam, you have beautiful made over chalkboard frames from the Dollar Tree. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.